Hello and welcome to this video in the Lockdown Learning Series where we're going to take a quick look at roller tracks and also splitting the track list. So this is a project we've had up for a few videos now. So with the folders all opened up, you can see that it's unmanageably large. Now, sometimes you may want to know not only where you are in terms of bars and beats in the song, but also where you are in terms of seconds you might need to flip between the two, which you may or may not know you can do by right clicking or two finger tapping on the ruler and picking seconds or time code or even samples if you are very strange. Um, but sometimes you need to know this at the same time. So you might just want to know so many bars, is, uh, so many minutes, etc. And you can do this. So the way you do it is by adding a ruler track. So I would add the ruler track in the standard way, but coming down to ruler track. We're just going to add the one and you can change the type of it by clicking on its name. And there we've got seconds. I'm going to move that up to the top. So there we've got two rulers. We can see that at bar 65, we're just under the two minute mark and so on. And we can see the full duration of the track pretty quickly is somewhere over seven minutes. So nice and easy. The problem with this is, is it disappears because it's a normal track. So as you scroll, so as I've got lots of things here, when I'm further down my arrangement, I can't see what time we're at. But there is a fix for that. And the way you fix that is you can divide the track list. So I'm going to click there and naturally the markers go there. But you can drag them between the two by clicking and dragging and moving them. Now, I find it useful to have things like this up here so if i am down in the you know the bowels of my uh, arrangement on track 130 or whatever having this available is is really useful because it's always there if it's on this divided track list and if we don't want to use this space you just click this little button here and we're back to normal so it's this not very easy to see uh sort of divide sign so i guess that's why it's a divide track list but it's not particularly clear. And I remember actually the first time I found it, I found it totally by accident. I clicked on it and I didn't know what I clicked on and then spent about half an hour trying to find out what I'd done. Uh, but yeah, you divide the track list here and you can put things between wherever. But yeah, by having the ruler there, it just means that you can see that wherever you are in your arrangement. So that's uh, ruler tracks, but also dividing the track list. Hope you found that useful. And I'll see you again soon.